food events, management students, invited guests and partakers of our event this morning we lift before the Lord. Lord, we praise you and trust that everything done here today will bring glory and honor to your name. Bless us, O Lord. We also pray for favorable weather, no incidents, no accidents. And above all, Lord, we pray for your presence. For Lord, your word says that in your presence there is fullness of joy. So Father, be in our presence as we would be in your presence, that we would have a joyous day, day in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone, again. We would like to have your continued undivided attention to the welcome address by Dr. Mirage. Staff, students of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, students of the Food Science and Technology programs, our specially invited guests, our kind sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and a warm and special welcome to all of you here today. My name is Rohani Maraj and I am the program leader for the food science and technology programs at the UTT. And I am so pleased that all of you all have accepted our invitation to be part and parcel of our final examination for our capstone and food events management students. Our theme for this year, and as you may know, we have been running this show for the past four years, and our, our theme for this year is science, solutions, and sustainability. In the capstone course, students are tasked to develop a new product using primarily local material, local raw material, material that are indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago. Or they are asked to take an existing product and put a local twist to it. So today we currently have 15 booths where students have made products using like, would you believe, Tonka Bean, Gabbana Plum, Sour Cherry, Beetroot, Papaya, Coconut, Mango, Guava, you name it, we have it. Today is a fusion of taste. And I want you all to go along the boots and experience fusion of taste. We also have free samples, but our products are the lowest cost in the whole of the world. Five TT dollars a product. Go and buy. You will never get that in any part of the world. Now I want you all to also know that we are showcasing our research students which are the capstone two students and they are located right outside this auditorium diagonally opposite in the aquarium. It is important that each of you all go there and see the research that is coming out of this program. We have exciting research next door. You need to go and take a look at it. We also have a fun and game segment away today. Now everything you see here and outside in the other boots and in the aquarium as you call it, all of these things have been led by our food science and technology students. From the decorations, the ushers, the design of the boots, our students from food events management and capstone, they have championed this today. And we could not have got all of this done without our two support staff, our external lecturers, Mr. Vishal Ganse and Ms. Lisa Kankwe. They have really worked tremendously to make this today a success. And I would like you all to give them a round of applause. Folks, I'd like to get your attention, please. I know the products are exciting. 
could not have made this a success. And we need to say thanks to our food science and technology team. It is the smallest unit in the whole of UTT that, that is delivering programs with many students. And I must say thanks to our able-bodied program officer, Ms. Ursula De Castro, our admin assistant, Ms. Stacy. I would like to thank our lab support staff, Ms. Neela Sumesa, our lab technician, Mr. Dimitri Ramlochan, and they are led by Ms. Dimple Singh Akbarali. She is responsible for lab management and for accreditation of the food science and technology labs. I must also say thanks to our lecturers, our MC, Mr. Garvin Perry, um, and not for the least, but I really want to big up our interpreters. They have worked really hard with our hearing impaired students, so I want you all to give them a big round of applause. Thank you to our COPCOM staff, our student recruitment. Today we have taken food science and technology on a part of excellence. So, please welcome, enjoy, party, have a great day. Thank you all. Now, Dr. Mirage has hyped you all like this. I'm certain that sales is going. I'm seeing all the people in the auditorium who are normally here. But at this time, let's just remind you all that we have sponsors that are also responsible for this event. We would like to also take the time to thank Island Beans Coffee for their sponsorship along with Twigs Natural Teas and Lewis Estates Chocolates, Caribbean Butlers, Angus Surreal Limited and Arawak Chicken. At this point, we are inviting the sales session which has officially begun. There will be samplings of specific groups that will be offered at this time. The samplings from group one, which is the Moringa Herb Roll. Number two, the Plantain Picante. Three, Tonka Bean Pumpkin Jam and Tonka Bean Ice Cream. And four, Fusion Delight Drinks. All of whose samples I have tasted and would recommend without hesitation to you all, would run between now and 11. So people, enjoy these samples until we announce another round of sampling and I trust you want to be here to enjoy these products that are coming up. Students, just one final reminder that Ms. Laurelie Arjun will be coordinating judging, which will begin shortly. So the judges will be passing by your groups to ensure that your sales pitch, your presentations, and all the other criteria that we did, that we have discussed during the development and products are met. Please be on the alert that Ms. Laurelie Arjun is becoming around to coordinate judging.
The baked products, the baked products was made from the gooseberries on them whereby we implement the baked products in the rolls on them whereby instead of like a current roll, we replace the raisins with the gooseberry inside. So it's the same roll but it's a gooseberry roll and the cookies on them, we place the jam on top of the cookies on them while baking to create a difference in the cookie and the taste of the cookie itself. So it's just like to bring back our old time memory of uh, the gooseberry series, sour cherry, everyone have a different name for it to show the taste and the innovation where we can create different products out of this. Thanks. Hi, my name is Shania Doyle. I'm a student of UTT, camp, the campus Ekia. The product I'm displaying today is a pineapple and orange strudel. As you can see, it's a pastry. It has two combinations of local fruit and basically that is all. This is my assistant, my brother. I'm in a group by myself, so my brother is assisting me with everything. And so far, everything going good. That's all. My name is Caprice Barron and my partner is Dillian Bartholomew. Today we have a product that is a 
pumpkin spice whole wheat muffin. It is loaded with vitamins and minerals from all the ingredients. Pumpkin is a good source of vitamin C and vitamin A, beta carotene. It helps with the eyes, etc. And vitamin C helps with the immune system. So it's a really good product. And because of the pumpkin in it, it is naturally sweet. Therefore, we didn't have to add much sugar to it. So it is a very healthy product. It lasts about two weeks on the shelf and it would last longer in the fridge. We recommend that you keep it refrigerated because it would last longer. Um, it is very nutritious and we recommend it for all ages. Even a little, a toddler that could eat, we recommend it that they would eat it because it's very healthy. It's a nice little snack. Thank you very much. Hi, good day. My name is Joel. These are my group members, Karina, Patrick, and Abigail Suchet. We are food science and technology students completing our first year of, us, of our certificate course, and we are currently attending the EKIAP campus. Today, our product is, uh, is called Flanks. It is a flaky pastry with a coconut and Christophine filling. Basically, it contains coconut and Christophine as the main ingredients, and it is seasoned with spices such as cinnamon and cloves and stewed down with a little bit of sugar just until it is cooked. Um, what made this product innovative is that coconut and cristofine, they are products that somebody would use individually. But what happened is that using the coconut as the sweetener, basically, and, Chris, and the cristofine as the savory product, mixing it together, that is what made it innovative because Coconut is a year-round product. You could get it on you could get it on the market at any point in time, whether it is in or out of season. Whereas Christophine, it is in season for four to six months. So when it is on market, you can buy it and you can freeze it. It can last in the freezer for up to four months without losing any of its nutritional value. This product was an all-natural product made. It was first grated together and stewed on with sugar, seasonings and other spices for approximately 50 minutes to get the right consistency. It was then put into a flaky pastry and baked for 45 minutes before cooling and packaging. The costing of the product is very, very inexpensive because all the products are, are locally here in the market or in the grocery and you can find it anywhere and it's a very, very, very cheap. So you can create this product by yourself and you can sell it, you can do whatever and it still will cause you a profit in the end. Thank you. So Karen is going to make a presentation he will sign his presentation for you. So one of our students is going to actually make a presentation, but this is a, an extra special presentation because it will be signed for you and the able interpreter here will actually vocalize it. Now, as much as I can scream, she doesn't scream as much as me. So if you want to hear it, you need to listen to her carefully, right? Today's event is a very important one, but one that could not be possible without many key individuals. I would like to thank and acknowledge in no particular order, we would like to thank the following persons. Chef Gregory Lindsay, Dimitri Ramlochan, Dimple Singh, Mila Sumarsi, Sumersa, Laurelie Arjun, Ursha Di Castro, Stacey Carr, Gavin Perry, Lizanne Kwankem, other members of the Food and Science Unit, IT personnel, Valsin personnel, you start and Dr. Maraj. At this time, we would like to make a presentation to Dr. Maraj. We, the Capstone students, 2017, would like to thank you for your guidance, instruction, and diligence 
that you infused into the program to make it what it is to be. Thank you. Doctor, uh, yes, Doctor, on behalf of all the students of the Capstone program, we wish to give thanks and praise to you and your staff for this program. We have benefited very much from it, from conceptualizing a product to actually having it prepared and presented for safe consumption. So on behalf of all of us who were part of the program, I would like to present this to you, Doctor. Thank you very much. It tastes very good, sweet and nice. And this is our passion fruit and cherry juice with cinnamon. It tastes lovely. Right. Um, we came about this product because we wanted to use ingredients that is not commonly found in the market, or that commonly used in the market. So you by using Christmas goods, so buying a one of the world, everybody know them separately as good cure for headache and fever and cold. So we decided to combine them and it has a very good flavor, surprisingly. Um, our preserved cherry just came about because everybody loves red cherries, sweet cherry. So this is a very good product. And also with the passion fruit juice. Nobody uses passion fruit and sour cherry to make juice much. So we decided to incorporate those flavors to get a nice taste and also a good texture. The cinnamon also adds a nice spice to it. It tastes really good. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On my right is Renisha King. Renisha Forsett, sorry. We have Tristan Turpin, we have Nathaniel, and we have Tiffany. Today we are here to introduce our product to you. It's actually called a sweet pea and almond cherry tomato cookies. Our main ingredient is actually sweet potato. We um, come up with this product because it's a health conscious product. It has cherry tomatoes, we have sweet potato, and we have almond with cinnamon and nutmeg. Also, we have the, the 
brochure. It's a health conscious product. And I would let Nathaniel do the explain of the health conscious benefits. Hello, good day. My name is Nathaniel Jackman, as you know. Well, some of the health benefits for it is that how with the sweet potatoes, with the cherry tomatoes, it gives you it's a natural sunblock, helps prevent acne, and it helps it helps prevent acne and it's a nice skin care for the for the youths. With the sweet potato, it helps lower the risk of, of any heart diseases. It's a good source of vitamin C and B6, so with vitamin C, it helps prevent scurvy. And while with the almonds, it helps with these, it helps bind diseases. It's it have many health benefits that we can list, but if you want, you can check our brochure or call our leader. Seven two three nine one eight one. Seven two three. Seven two three nine one eight one. You can contact us, and we'll have your cookies ready for you. Sweet pea cookies, snacking made healthy. <laughs> and that is all. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the Capstone 9. Yes, welcome. We are Capstone 9 Bakers. Yesterday we are presenting the Moringa Roll. The Moringa is a herb roll that we have and prepared for well-being and, and good health. As you know, Moringa is made, is, is, a, is a plant that is in most backyard gardens today. And the leaves are used, as well as the seeds, for good health and well-being. Today, we, are, we have over 100 Moringa rolls to, 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 um, to offer for sale. And I will hand it over now to Johanna. Moringa is rich in vitamin A, C, and E, also vitamin D, and is rich in calcium. It helps regulate blood sugar flow for diabetics as well as cancer patients. We also have bran in our bread, which helps with fiber. And it is served with cheese base and a split pea soup. Please enjoy. Thank you, Joanna. We have in this Capstone 9 group, we have Karen, we have Joanna, and we have Amy. We are all students of the Ekiav campus that did the Capstone 1 session. We are really happy that we have been able to take something from conceptualization and have a product today that everyone should be using and for their well-being and good health. Thank you very much. Okay, hi, my name is Akisha Stion. I'm in the Food Science and Technology Department. This is Adam and Kayla. Today we made Governor Plum Jam. It is made from 100% local content, which is the governor plum. It contains cinnamon, sugar, water, um, anything else. It treats arthritis, treats anemia, treats colds and flus, helps with diarrhea, enhances immunity. Thank you. My name is Kayla and I'm from the Food Science and Technology Division. Today we are showcasing our product, Plum Jam. Um, for this, uh, my name is Adam Aziz. For our product, the shelf life is approximately seven months once open. Once open, keep re uh, it must be kept refrigerated. Participants, Captain Joseph Con. Right. 
Morning. So we have some participants from St. Joseph Convent. St. Joseph, who have been a blast at the event this, today. They want to give their views on the products that they have seen, sampled, tasted, and tell us how it is that they're enjoying this festival at AUTT this morning. Okay, um, we went to the building over there. I think they call it the aquarium. And I saw many innovative ways to take products that are locally made in Trinidad and to export them while making a profit. So we saw things like doubles, which everyone loves basically. Tourists come here for doubles. So we saw creative things like aloe coatings to fruits to preserve them. And in here we got to try some products that are locally made here with locally grown fruits. And they were honestly, they were really tasty. And I think all my friends loved it. Yeah. So you're coming back for part two, right? Definitely. Um, what did you think about the price range? The fact that you know the products are so readily available and that they're made from local indigenous materials, and it's a new twist on things you never thought you'd have tasted before. Like we have tonka bean um, ice cream, right? And what about the moringa? Because moringa is supposed to have. I know you all are very bright and you're all into sciences and biology and everything. And moringa is now one of the new superfoods on the market, and we have integrated it in a bread. What do you all think of that? How does it taste? What's your general opinion? You all didn't try it yet? It's a good thing I do this interview, so you all get to try it, right? What would you think is your most interesting product you tried today? Right now, the banana and the chub. I like the ice cream. Yeah. The bean ice cream? Hi, good afternoon. I am Latoya Mara. This is Kyle James and this is Lunella Nandu. Our product is Platino Picante. It's a combination of plantain and tamarind. We use spices, green seasonings and a bit of red pepper to give it a color and to enhance the flavor. Our product has a shelf life of two weeks being refrigerated because it has no preservatives and it's really good as a sauce to have with like fish and stuff. You could use it with bread, with pastries. It basically complements a lot of stuff. Someone just said that they could use it as um, in doubles as well. Yeah, it goes great with anything. However, you know, when you hear planting and tamron, you won't really think of a combination. You would think planting sweet, tamron, sour, why is it a combination? But when we combined it, we saw that the plant and tamarind really complemented each other. It didn't overwhelm anything and it, the result was very well. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You never had a sweepy almond cookie before? Well, what you waiting on, friend? Go and buy yourself a box. Cookies, snacking made healthy. Nice finish. Nice finish. Thank you. Right, so good morning. We're joined by Rio Claro West Secondary School this morning. They get their feedback on the initial thoughts of the event, they, how they like the products, and we have their class rep in front who's going to rep introduce herself, her classmates, and tell us how they felt. Um, my name is Chelsea Coban of Rio Claro West Secondary. Um, 
to be honest, this is wonderful because we see how people could take normal things that we use in our everyday lives and make like such amazing products. Um, that coffee over there was really, 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 really great. Like, I don't mind getting a pack for home. Um, it had other things that I did taste that was really good, like those tomato cherries. I would have never thought it was tomato cherries. So, yeah, it was really an exciting experience. Products, enjoy the event. You think you will come back? Um, do you see yourselves, because we get a number of students from Rio Claro attending the programs at EKF, do you all see yourself innovating, making new products and so on at home, in school, and you know, carrying on what you learned here and how you could take normal things like the tonka bean? Did you all try that tonka bean, um, the tonka bean ice cream? You tried that as yet? Yeah. What you thought of that? Uh, yeah, it was good. So what are you taking away from this whole event and would you come back? Um, Anybody else want to add anything? What are you taking away from the event and would you come back? Um, what I'm taking. What are you taking away? Did you like it? Could you do something like this? Yeah, um, I don't mind. I don't mind the, um, the coffee. I'm definitely taking that. And these cherries and whatever, I'm definitely coming back for that. All right, so next year we're seeing you again, right? Oh, it's up to miss. All right, no problem. Thank you very much for your Claro. I hope, what form are you all in? All right, so best of luck in um, CXC and welcome to the persons who are coming in. Your first journey, you will enjoy it, and afterwards, university life is waiting for you, right? All right, thanks a lot. the food and food technology program <laughs> and um, well it was uh, it, we had some challenges but we got past it and this is our 
end product here. And thank you. We are Dela Obika and Roxanne Proxma for Trini Twist from the Total Local Company. Hello, good, um, good afternoon. Welcome to our booth. Um, our brand is Tropical Organics and our product is Papaya Syrup. A byproduct of our main product is um, papaya concentrates, where you only add water and it could be um, drunk as a, as a drink. And um, yeah, our, our syrup is only $5 and we have samples of snow cone and pancake. That is what you could serve our syrup with snow cone as well as pancake as well as iced tea and even a dressing for salads okay so hi again so our product is made from all local ingredients purple cinnamon ginger bay leaf clove yeah that's it and we all know the the health benefits of those products especially purple purple is good for the skin cinnamon as well ginger aids in digestion so you will benefit off of our product hi well i'm just demonstrating this is one of our products <laughs> the pancake so it goes like and this is the snow cone and it's actually pretty good. We're getting great reviews and we're so happy because we put a lot of effort, money and time yeah. into this product. So thank you for interviewing us today.
from Kentucky Jam, which is also know, the local product. From Trinidad, you can see it contains product Tonka Bean. Now, there's a lot right? of young faces. The shelf life must be refrigerated after open. It has an eight, eight month shelf life as well. So, I'll be ice cream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's for that extract, right? Once open, consume within two to three days. Also be mindful that the ice cream is also a product. Be mindful that the ice cream is also a product. And the tongue can be, can be good. It can be given all year round, right? So this is our group, Talk Delicious. Talk to me, go get an ice cream, and pumpkin talk to me Like a vine, you're not boring. You move up your 
ginger and moringa leaves all strained it was drawn freshly with moringa water with moringa tea moringa tea i added guava and i added ginger to make a, a very nutritious and healthy icy blend um yeah my drink is all sold out now i um this is my first year within the degree and i plan on going further with my drink after today it sold out very fast and it's going. Everybody is into the Moringa thing now. The Moringa thing is big. It's a very healthy drink and I recommend it any day, anytime. 
is Tashana Johnson and I'm in the Food Science Diploma Program. Hello, I am Jeline Batiste and I am a diploma student in the Food Science and Technology Program and today for Capstone we have the plant and flower. Hi, my name is Kaya Regis and I am doing my diploma in Food Science and Technology at UTT Ekiav Campus. Good day, I'm Carmen Sita Jabri, Diploma in Food Science and Technology student. And today, Island Mills Limited have for you a production of plants and flour that can be used as a substitute for your whole wheat flours. And as you can see here from our display basket, we have muffins, gluten-free breads, gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. And we've also produced a pamphlet for you that would contain some information on the benefits of plantain and a recipe that you can use for, to make the plantain flour. The shelf life of our plantain, we did some tests and sensory analysis in, in class and we were able to do some moisture content and ash content. And we found that the plantain flour that we are working with here today has a seven or a 6.2 percentage of moisture, which is very good based on research that we have done. We have seen a 13.8 as the required standard for powder and flowers being produced. So we, I think that as a group, we have done well in producing this plantain flour and to come up with products that we can make at home in our kitchens. Thank you. Hi, good day. My name is Shamar Sitton. I'm enrolling in a UTT program um, under the Food and Science Technology Department. I'm currently pursuing Food Science and Technology at the certificate level. What we have here today is a product that I'm currently developing. The name of the product is called Banana Catch. It's basically a banana condiment that goes well with most foods, uh, goes well with fish, barbecue, chicken, pork, ham, just to name a few. Um, currently the shelf, left, the, sh the shelf life sorry, is still under development. So far, we have, have conducted like two months of shelf life and it seems to be at a well, well deserved shelf life. Good afternoon, I am Charlene Kajo from Cafeteria Services Department and I am here basically to enjoy the student research showcase from the Food Science and Technology Department. Um, so far I have really enjoyed, I think it's actually been very fantastic. This entire experience has been very eye-opening. Um, all the creativity with, in terms of the Tonka bean products, um, the beetroot, um, iced tea, and it's been really, 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 really amazing. Hi, my name is Joanna White. I am from the Career Development Department, Student Support Services, and we are here to support our students in the Students Research Food and Technology Showcase, and we are really enjoying the products. I must be of the best products followed by the sour cherry jam as well and also to emphasize the tanker bean ice cream as well as the jam really enjoy ourselves it was an excellent event and technology exposition day we could go and check it out yeah we could let's roll up day of the event they're looking nice man papaya syrup Oh my, jam too? Mm. Hi, good day, hi, good day. I am Dr. Rohan Maraj. We are from the Food Science and Technology Exposition. So, would you be interested in joining our program after the successful event? No problem, but what is it about? Well, we teach students from Food Science. 
technologists, even entrepreneurs, chefs, you name it. Anything to do with the food industry, we teach you everything. We teach you from the first food law in 1906, the current food events today. We even teach you food chemistry, microbiology, maths. We even teach you communication so you know how to interact with your customers. Now, we have three programs. We have a certificate program, a diploma program, and a bachelor's program. The certificate program is one year full time and one and a half years part time. The diploma program is two years full time and two and a half years part time. Our bachelor's program is three years full time and four years part time. So, the things you need to join this program five CXC O level passes, or as an ordinary. Would you be interested in joining our program? We have two programs, as I said, full-time and part-time. Full-time is at the EKF campus, and part-time is at this campus, Fancy. Now, if you want to sign up, you can go diagonally across to the aquarium at our registration route. So what are you think? Yes, sounds very interesting. What about you? I think we should go sign up. That sounds like a good school. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, ah, I'm going to let you know a little secret. I see program leader for the full-time program. I related to Nicki Minaj. Yeah, Chuck. Thank you very much. I'm going to make a round of applause and that. Thank you very much, ladies. We have one more piece. Some of you may have seen or heard it already, but those of us in here have not yet. So let us welcome Precious Murray into the stage. Give Precious. Good afternoon, everyone. We know we all love our bellies. And we like to eat food that's a necessity for us. Whether it's curry, crab and dumpling, and we always eat it. But when I first heard about food technology, I was like, but what is this? This cooking? What, what exactly is this? What is so special about this food technology? What's so technological about this? And then I did some research and I found out that this has to do with food science, food production, and food testing. So management food, so everything about food. And then I look at this world from a different view. I say, geez, snakes don't grow from trees. So somebody had to develop that. I never see lollipop growing from a vine. So somebody had to create that. And I realize this is a, such an innovative program to be a part of. And that within this program, I'm able to take on your side. So if you're not sure what exactly food technology is, ask yourself. Do snacks grow from trees? Thank you. Our sponsors who are here with us today, we want to give a hearty thank you to Island Beans Coffee. If you all have not sampled the coffee, you certainly should. It has given us a good smell across the room for the entire day. We also have Lewis Estates chocolate, which is a locally sourced chocolate, just like your product. And then we want to thank Cheryl from Twigs Natural for coming with us. We just want to acknowledge our other sponsors, including Angostura, Caribbean Bottlers Limited, and Arawak Chicken. So back to the music. My name is Suan Walker. I am a diploma year two student here at UTT doing my diploma at doing the Faraday in the Aquarium. Uh, the Aquarium consists of people who are doing their uh, incubator work as well as we do a trivia as questionnaires to get people introduced and into the different um, programs that we have offering. We are seeing the diploma and so the people 
the family run at the BSC between um, three and four years, both full time and part time. Um, the plumber for a um, year and a half, three years, both full time and part time, and um, the certificate, which is a year and a half at part time level. Um, currently, as you can see behind us, we have people who are doing poster projects. They are incubator. They deal with the scientific parts as well as the knowledge into the life skills as well as the different um, aspects as to what goes on further between props and further. Uh, and the different methods as well as what can come out of different foods used during the uh, different foods we have here in Trinidad and Tobago. He's also a capstone student, also doing some stuff in the Hall City, the Auditorium City Hall. He deals with the, what a, we can become an entrepreneur in this program. We can also look at the public sector, the private sector, and become self employed. Right? Um, it goes on to tell us that um, in the private sector, we can become food technologists, um, food scientists, managers. Um, laboratory managers and assistants. In the public sector, we can become dietetics, practitioners, nutritionists, um, R and D managers, and packing house supervisors. As self-employed, we can become caterers, chefs, bakers, and distributors, and so on. Right, that's what this slide is all about. Thank you. on behalf of Dillian. She is presenting spice flavored cocoa powder and she is also doing capsule so she is back and forth and here's assisting her today. So she's offering you nutmeg, cinnamon and ginger flavored spice powder, powder cocoa powder. So you should, with this product you just add it to your cup of tea, milk, uh, condensed milk, whatever sugar, whatever you want and drink. So she went through the milling process where the fat was extracted by a filter and extracted the canvas to remove a fat so we can have a fat residue on top of the product. All looking good, I should add. Thank you very much. For
Get a gelling kind of consistency. Then now 
may take this alginate solution and pour it into this. And here you have jam and jelly. We have this chart here, so this chart will let you know whether this solution we made here, this jelly we made here is either acidic or alkaline. alkaline. So we can see this is between 7 and 8, <laughs> what do you think, 7 and 8, <laughs> so it's more acidic. So. That's one of the experiments we did today. And basically this booth is set up so other than just seeing the products being sold in the auditorium, at least you'll have an, a hands-on experience on what the course is about. And that's about it. Thank you for listening.
Let's be fierce. This is here for almost two hours doing this. So how you walk just came and get it. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, so we have some prizes to give them. Prizes. Yes, come she is. The two of them were there for like hours. And these two came just to one hand with two pieces of paper. So bring that to them. My name is Julian Lane Joseph. I am one of the interpreters attached to UTT, working with our deaf and hearing impaired students. And I must say it has been a pleasure working in the food science uh, area. And the program here was just for a picture. Best decorated booth goes to a team that had a little, had a rough start, but they did well. We agree that their theming of their booth deserves the best decorated prize, and that is Darcel Williams, your group with the T. <laughs> Carleen and Darcel, please come and collect your prize. Give them a round of applause. And there's a team badgering us because they sold the most product. Please come up and collect your most sold prize, a blast from the past with the tonka bean and pumpkin jam. I see Mr. Roger Kwao making his way to the stage. Congratulations, guys. Let's give them a clap. So free snow going at the back of the room made with our locally sourced papaya syrup. Please don't leave. Dr. Mirage wants us to dance and have a good time. I believe she will be leading off the dancing. We want to say a special thank you to our DJ Michael. I think Michael did an excellent job. I think Michael deserves a round of applause. Let's give our DJ some love. We want to say thank you to our judges and Ms. Laura Lee for helping us out this evening. A special thank you to Dr. Mirage, of course, who has facilitated all of this. To our team at Ekiaf and UTT, that's Urshel, Dimple, Mila, Dimitri, Stacy, everyone who has helped us out. And students, I think you all need to give yourselves a round of applause. You all did an excellent job here this evening. So, I don't know how you all are going to feel about this one. Um, who can dance? Nobody can dance? No, no, let over party. I need one member from each team on the stage Dancing. 30%. Do you all want your marks or not? Dancers on the 
this is not one member from every team. You only want me to start to call names. I come in.
Right. So apparently, go been there on this side feels that we unfair him with a workout dance and he part of someone out working. So go been there is begging for a rematch. So I think the only fair way we can have a rematch for all these marks is if somebody else, a representative from each group, volunteers, right? And have 12 groups and make this a proper challenge. You all agree? All any man that's come and look out, all any time and do something, come and sit up. Right, you're signing up for the marks. Welcome. And now, Miss, remember the videotaping, eh? You're doing the basis now. All right. So, one group, group number two, who signed? This group was dancing all day. One of you better come up here on the stage. Come, Wendy. Wendy, your reputation precedes you. Wendy, Wendy, we need you here now. This is where a group of marks your dance out, you're going to dance some more. Only Wendy taking out your phone, she's prepping herself, she don't want anything to drop. Right? Um, who's coming from the town? Can be in group five. Right now, all right. I'm frightened. I 
think um, artificially have to declare the lady the winner. Because I don't want anybody to go any more than that. The lady work out. She, she did a sit up. She did a flip. There is nothing more she could do. Um, she split. She did more than anybody else was willing to do. And I declare, we have any practice, we have practice.
Caribbean's Natural, USA States and Island Beans Coffee. We want to thank Caribbean Bottlers Limited and Sura and Arawak Chicken for giving so freely of their product. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out today. I hope you had a good time. All right, so what we need to do now is clean up. So all the oil who bust balloon need to pick up the balloon from off the floor. You all know I will come and make you pick it up. Everyone needs to take off your tablecloths and skirting. And if you have not reconciled your chits, please come and see Michelle to reconcile all your chits. We're going to clean up now. Thank you. This was a great event.
the crowd now waking up. The atmosphere have vibes, and nothing can break it up. The girl them a wine non-stop. We had the drinks them in a my cup. We gonna party all night, all night. Twenty-four parties we hit in a row. Tonight at the very last show. Before we head out on the road, the girl them a release the load. So let me see your hands up, so everybody know. Put your hands up, so if you're ready for the road, let your friend them know. We're ready for the road. We're ready for the road. So we're ready, we're ready, yeah we're ready, we're ready, yeah we're ready, we're ready. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, yeah we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. The girl them are wait all week, forget up on the road like free. The music full of umbrellas, with thousands of chipping feet. Everywhere you look is just food, and everybody in a real nice mood. We gonna party all night, all night. Everyone with painted body, clean credit and tainted money. Nobody want to dance by themselves. Everybody want to dance on somebody. Well, let me see your hands up so. Everybody know, put your hands up so. If you're ready for the road, let your friend them know. We're ready for the road. Get off. 